Good morning and happy Friday. Today is the 29th of October, 2021. We're about to go into Halloween weekend. As promised in today's mediocre wrap, we're going to go over a few, I wouldn't call them trap games, but opportunities for upsets, perhaps, um, in the NFL. So, got three of them. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not a tumor. Excuse the roughness. Gotta go. Anyhow, um, one of these days that's going to be spiked, and then who knows what hilarity will will, will happen. All right, so in order of, of confidence, <clears throat> I wouldn't even say confidence in, in, in order of um, likelihood. Let's go there. Yeah. I have notes. And some days I have jokes. And when I have both... Booyah! All right, let me get started here. All right, there, there's three games that I'm really looking at in the uh, in the Shield this this weekend, all on Sunday. Um, first one in, in in as far as likelihood, and, and, and a few weeks ago you'd have been like, no way. Jacksonville is bringing their one and five dog and pony show into Seattle. Play a two and five Seattle Seahawks team that is without Mr. Russell Wilson. They're not very good. Um, reason why I think this could be a Jacksonville victory. Number one, Jacksonville traveled very well. They've had a week off. So it's been two weeks since their win in London. Trevor Lawrence is getting more and more confident. <clears throat> And it seems like the storm is starting to recede around um, the head coach, Urban Meyer. Seattle is very rust-dependent. Their defense is not special at all. At all. And they're very similar to Kansas City in that respect. They're, they're, you know, they were able to carry their defense. I mean, because the defense carried them for years, but now they're offensively having to outscore teams more nights than not or more days than not. Right now, Seattle is a very vulnerable club uh, until Russ gets back. And I don't know when the time frame is, but I do know it's not this weekend. So a 2-5 and five Seattle team is very, very vulnerable to Jacksonville actually creating a winning streak. It could happen. Dos, Philadelphia is bringing their 2-5 and five team into Detroit. The best darn 0-7 team that money has ever bought. And uh, they're going to play at 1 o'clock. <clears throat> By the way, the Jacksonville-Seattle game is 4.05. It's on the West Coast. <clears throat> um, the odds makers only have Philly up by 3, you know, favored by 3.5. So they know something. Okay. The Sharps know something. They always do. So they um, it shows the level of worry that they have. Detroit very easily could be 2-5 and five or 3-4, and four, if not for some really late, fluky stuff. And they've, they've hung in there against some, some good teams. Philly isn't a good team. And they don't wear people down. In fact, they normally get worn down by the fourth quarter. <clears throat> I give Detroit a good chance to win this one. I really do. Um, Detroit's not going to win many, but I think they're going to win a few. They're not going. Out, they're not going over for seventeen. That's there's no way in my mind because they've had such a tough schedule, and the second half of their schedule is not nearly as difficult. 
Trace. Three is New England going out to L.A. to play the Chargers. New England is three and four. They're very up and down. They have a young quarterback. But they have a good defense. They're a top 13, top 12 or 13 defense. <clears throat> That's going to keep them in the game in this one. The Chargers on paper should be much better. But for some reason, Chargers are only at home, only only up, only a plus four. They're, they're only minus four against New England. So the Sharps, once again, know something's up. Um, New England has quietly built a pretty good defense. I think they're balanced against the, the, the run and the pass. I think that keeps them in the game. And I think Mac Jones is starting to figure it out. I think he is. So I think they might have just enough to take L.A. Of these three, it's the least likely. But I think we can we can definitely see, I wouldn't go running a parlay on this or anything, but it would not surprise me very, very much at all if Jacksonville took Seattle on the road, Detroit took Philly at home, and New England took LA, LA at in LA. It's on the road. So that those are the three that I'm looking at. And you know, who knows? Maybe all three are wrong picks. But I, I will bet you that all three of these will be in the game. They'll be they'll they'll be there late at a minimum. Especially well, I would say all three of them. They're all gonna make a very good game of it. And I think I think all three of these have an excellent chance to Shock the world a little bit. And um, I don't think there's that much quality of a difference between these, you know, between each of these teams in each of these matchups. Um, in in Jacksonville, Trevor Lawrence, like I said, getting getting better, and it's and it's because Russ isn't in the isn't isn't on the on the on the seat on the field is what's causing that one. Number two, I love Jalen Hurts in, in Philly, but he really doesn't have much to work with. And and Sirianni's not calling not calling a good game. He's not this is not a good situation. I don't think Sirianni will be the head coach at the end of the season. I just don't. Um Campbell has them fighting. I I I like Detroit's odds there. And then like I said, New England, Belichick's not the genius that they've always made him out to be. I think Don Brady made him more more than more than anything else, but he has always been a good defensive coach. And he he will usually take the one thing away that you need. And that may be Justin Herbert. So I, I have a feeling on this one more than a more than a, a data driven conclusion. Okay? And that's where I come from on all three of those. I want you to have a great weekend. Enjoy the ghosts and goblins. Be safe. Um, X-ray that candy if you, in fact, are having trick-or-treat wherever you are. And um, because there's some, there's some stupid people out there doing some stupid things. Be safe. And um, I will holler at you again on Monday as we skid right into November. Before we do, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the ringy ding and say all, and then spread this video far and wide. Sharing is caring, and I need all the caring that I can get. See you Monday. Have a great weekend, guys. Peace out, me homies. See ya.